Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. In a column for CNN, one of the legal counsels who worked on Donald Trump's second impeachment praised the work that's been done so far by the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection that led to lawmakers from both sides of the aisle fleeing for their lives. Finally, we can all agree on something. According the, to the expert Norm Eisen, who served as President Barack Obama's ethics czar, the move by the committee to get phone records from lawmakers and members of the Trump's family is evidence of a classic investigative technique, and the former president has few legal avenues to stop them. Previously, when he was still president, Trump invoked executive privilege to keep his inner circle from testifying during his two impeachment trials. Now that he is out of office, he can attempt to invoke it again, but recent rulings by the court in matters involving Trump and secrecy have not gone in his favor. Finally, maybe we're going to get some justice here. Eisen also noted that the Justice Department under President Joe Biden and his Attorney General Merrick Garland have already declared that executive privilege no longer applies and that officials called before the committee can be expected to comply. Quote, the administration has waived executive privilege and allowed former Trump administration officials to provide testimony to Congress about the ex-president's attack on the 2020 election and its certification. The U.S. Department of Justice correctly re reasoned that the extraordinary events in this matter constitute exceptional circumstances and the congressional need for information outweighs the executive branch's interest in maintaining confidentiality. Now that sounds about right. Thank goodness something is making sense. The problem for the former president is that the one person who could help him out would be President Joe Biden, an unlikely occurrence. Over my dead body, Mr. President. Mm -mm. Eisen added, together with the demands we learned about earlier this week for phone and other records for te from telecom and social media companies, all of that makes it likely that the truth will be uncovered. Private companies are not going to fool around either. A common investigative adage is follow the money. Here, Congress should follow Trump's lies, especially the big lie that the election was stolen. The one to six committee is off to a good start doing just that. And there's ultimately little that Trump will be able to do to stop it, he concluded. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out rawstory.com. And if you want to see more of the raw reports, please like and subscribe below and join others who like their news raw too.